and welcome back to my cave story playthrough. Last time we well entered the story and so far we're not given much of a clue on what to do other than several cutscenes explaining about someone named Sue and Arthur's house which is locked. Hmm. Go! Jeez, you scared me! Sorry about that. I was wondering, do you know somebody named Sue? Sue? Oh! You mean the girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Toroko. That girl's a real cutie. You must be looking for flying dragons. Wonder if there's really such a thing. Dragons that fly in the sky. Well, he doesn't sound too sure about anything. But, as you see... Pretty interesting. Sound, seems hub-like, I guess. Assembly Hall. Mimiga Cemetery. Currently closed due to hazards. The name's Jack. I'm number two in the village. Beyond here is Mimiga Cemetery. There, our hero, Arthur, rests eternally in peace. That's great, but why are you standing in front of this door? Why, well, mushrooms have taken over Mimiga Cemetery, so I'm keeping watch to make certain that they don't come into the village. Well, it seems everyone's pretty dutiful around this place. Give me a second. Sorry, but the music was really pounding into my ears right there. Ugh. So I'm not feeling 100% and I'm pretty nervous. I have quite an irrational stage fright, which gets in the way, I guess, but let's just see. Open the treasure chest. Obtained the map system, which is... So long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find a way out. This is my hope. That's a cryptic message, I guess. And this is what it does. You can press W... I mapped on my controller to d-pad up and it shows you a map in green scale I guess and it pretty much shows the environment shack a random empty shack with barely any purpose whatsoever so we're not given much of a clue on what to do other than that we need to find someone named Sue which is I don't know if that's bad starting off, because if you're new to games, even if you're not, this is pretty confusing. To be given just told to find Sue and the door is locked, you're not told where to find the key. This is the farm where we grow flowers. My job is to protect this farm. To us, Mimiga, these flowers are a precious source of food. But not the red flowers. I heard that if we eat red flowers, our blood pressure skyrockets and we'll die in an instant. Fortunately, on this farm, we don't grow those vile red flowers. Well, that's good to hear. I don't give a care. It's a sprinkler. No, oh, I noticed that much. And look, more life. A life capsule. Max life increased by three. Yes, and this game's for Steam in case the achievement pops up. So now we have nine, which is good, I guess. Another three hits to take, although a lot of things do more than one damage, so don't expect that to be a lot. It's one of those long run things, we already talked to King over there. So let's see what in the reservoir. Okay, so you're apparently a robot, but you have an air meter, which makes no sense whatsoever. To me at least. And there's a weird fish thing, I have no idea what it is, or what it's doing here. But it's there. Well, you're not Sue. No, but I know who she is. That cute girl who's always hiding inside Arthur's house. Right? She recently came to the Mimiga village. She fell into the reservoir here. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the village. But she's a Mimiga. Same as the rest of us. And look, sparklies! Something shines brightly. Tint the silver locket. So we're gonna find a bronze and a gold one too? Oh wow! Mr. Big old fish head over there hurts. <gasps> no, that was awful. 
<clears throat> as you notice, my throat's still full of slime. Hand over that key. No! Wow, he does get run over a lot, doesn't he? <sighs> get a call! Don't underestimate me! Oh, he pretty much considers himself boss around here, but he already told us that. So, where would he go? Well, maybe in the shack. Shack. You brat! Ah. Wah. Oh, help me, help me! Huh? You're not the doctor. <laughs> no, I'm Curly Briss. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that. The doctor's such a cruel and evil person. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Mimiga. At times, even killing someone. The doctor, he killed my older brother. Ah! That pendant! You picked up... You picked it up for me? Sue gave it to me. But I don't want it anymore. King get, gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. <laughs> Please keep it. <gasps> Boink. Oh yeah! I found you! It's no use hiding from me. I've got the nose of a clever harrier. Indeed. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery! I found her first. You too, you're with the doctor. Uh, you must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Huh? But I'm not Sue. Blah, 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 blah. Balrog, the rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person. I told you! Not this again. I always have to clean up. And I'm the one who found her, not Misery. So what's up? You wanna fight with me with that little pea shooter? So you can actually just skip this boss battle, but I'll do it just for fun. Understood! So he's pretty simple in this first time you ever fight him. You get to fight him a lot more later. But for now, he's just jumping and walking, I guess. Ah! There's no penalty for not fighting him at all. You just get a few extra magic nachos, I guess. I'll remember this. Defeated Balrog! Yay! Ugh. Lost my upgrade. Fantastic. Oh. <sighs> we still can get in Arthur's house, that means. I wonder who has the key. I guess Toroko should have it. I mean, he's living with her. But who else could have the key? They took Toroko! What did you say? Toroko's been kidnapped. That's terrible! We have to inform King. Well, there he goes. So let's see what's in a cemetery, shall we? Ooh, evil mushrooms. But they're white and soft and cute and squishy. So that's a pretty intimidating enemy if you're just coming in. And we leveled up again. So now we can just one-shot them. And there's a door up there. Which we can't reach for now, which is kind of sad, I guess. Yeah, we'll go to there later. <gasps> and a big old white shroom. There, there are no threat whatsoever. They would have, they would have fit the first cave a lot better than the bats. But I guess they're supposed to give you some of an inclination of how difficult this is going to get. Arthur's grave. Something's written on the headstone. Here rests a true mimic hero, Arthur. Found Arthur's key. They buried him with his house key. That's upsetting. You don't bury people with their keys normally, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. So let's go to the assembly hall and see what's inside. It's King. Not Toriko too. Toriko's older brother, Arthur, was our strongest warrior. But he was killed by the doctor himself. 
Ooh, sounds tough. I wasn't able to protect Toriko. There was two keys to Arthur's house. Toriko has one of them. The other is inside the Mimica Cemetery. You. The flames below in the fireplace. There's something on the other side. There's water outside, but... Yeah, you'll see it later. It's really weird on how you're supposed to put out fires. It's it's just awful. But I guess you need to compensate someone. Life refilled, so let's save and we'll see what's inside Arthur's house later.